Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn with Fun by Zara sir. And today we'll be discussing a very interesting and a very important topic which is two port network. So in two port network we will be studying something called as a different type of network. And different type of network we'll be studying in a series of different network. So what are these networks look like? How do we need to calculate these networks? We'll be discussing all this in our further video. So today in this video, I'll just give you the brief about each and every small parameter in two-port network. The first parameter that we will be discussing in our uh, this video is impedance parameter. So what do you mean by impedance parameter? Impedance is nothing but your resistance, I would say, where we calculated using Ohm's law, B is equal to IR. So I'll be using over here as I'll write it. I'll write over here as V1 is equal to V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. And now in this equation, my parameter or the equation is represented in the forms of V1 and V2 with the help of I'm calculating with the help of I1 and I2. So what is Z parameter over here is the Z parameter over here is Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So this is my Z parameter that I will be needing to calculate it. Okay. The next parameter which I am talking about or will be discussing in our video is admittance parameter. Now what do you mean by admittance parameter? So admittance parameter is nothing but I1 is equal to so it is a reciprocal of resistance. So in the admittance, we have V1, I1 and I2. Here we'll be writing I1 and I1 as Y11. Sorry, I1 as Y11. Just a second. I11 V1 plus Y12 V2 and I2 as Y21 V1 plus Y22 V2. So you can see from this equation, I am trying to calculate I1 and I2 using V1 and V2 and Y parameter is represented as Y11, Y12, Y21 and Y22. So remember here it is just an Ohm's law or you can remember it using like this. V is equal to IR over here. See V is on the left hand side, R is on the right hand side. And here you can represent it as I is equal to V by R. So R we call it as resistance. To write it as impedance, we'll write it as Y over here. So I'll be writing I Y. So this is admittance. Now after impedance and admittance, the next parameter that we will be uh, trying to calculate is transmission parameter. Now what do you mean by transmission parameter? It is Okay, the next parameter that we will be calculating is admittance. After admittance is transmission parameter. So transmission parameter, I'll be writing V1 and I1 on the left hand side. So V1 as written as V1 is equal to ABCD. It is represented ABCD. So I'll write, if you want, you can write it first A, B, C and D over here. And now you can see which terms are missed out over here. So in transmission parameter, we have V1. So I'll write V2 minus I2 over here. And I'll write V2 minus I2 over here. So these are the parameter, which is known as transmission parameter. If you want, you can represent or you can understand for your understanding. You can write it down over here as my ABCD is V1 and I1 is represented in the forms of V2 and I2. Sorry. It is represented in the forms of V2 and I2. Okay, so my V2 and I2 is represented in the forms of V1 and I1. Now the parameter over here is A, B, C and D. And now let's talk about next parameter, which is inverse transmission parameter. And it is represented as A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. So how to represent this? Uh, as you can see in the above equation, we have used V1 and I1. Now we will be using V2 and I2. So how you'll be understanding is V2 I2 is equal to. So I'll be just using the trick that we usually use 
I'll write first V1 over here, I1 over here, V1 over here, I1 over here, minus, minus. Now just put the value which we have not used and the value that we have not used is A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Now you can see I am using V2, I am calculating V2 and I2 with the help of V1 and I1. The parameter that I will be using over here is A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. So similarly in inverse transmission parameter I am trying to calculate A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Now the next parameter that we will be targeting is our hybrid parameter. So now hybrid parameter and inverse hybrid parameter. These are the two parameter that is need to be calculated in a different way. So how to calculate this is we will be now how to calculate this is inverse parameter after inverse transmission parameter is now we'll be using is I'll be writing over here is V1 and I1 we have already done this and the transmission parameter. Now what we'll be using over here is V1 and now the next is V1 I2. So it is V1 I2 will be equal to see now we have H11, H12, H21 and H22. So I'll be writing H11, H12, H21 and H22. So these are the four parameters that we need to calculate over here. Now as you can see this is V1 and V2 sorry V1 and I2 and we will be calculating some different parameter over here as I'll be using in place of V1 after this I'll write I1 and plus or minus here I'll write plus plus V1 I1 now which term is getting is V2 sorry V2 and now here I'll write again I1 and V2 so in this way we will be calculating hybrid parameter so here what will be, you will be finding is you will be finding over here is I1 sorry I2 and V1 I'll write it in a proper way so that we can understand it in a better way so I'll write over here as V1 and I2 using I1 and V2 and you can write H11, H12, H21 and H22 similarly in the down equation of inverse hybrid parameter we will be calculating here we have calculated V1 and I2 now we will be calculating I1 and V2 and we will be writing this parameter as G11, G12, G21 and G22. Okay. Now see I will write plus in between everything. Now I1 is here so we will be writing V1, I2, V1 and I2. Okay. So this is very simple. These are the parameters that we will be needing in our two port network understanding. So if you want you can write this as a further as I am calculating I1 and V2 with the help of V1 and I2. Okay. So it's just an inverse of it. Okay. So if, as you can see if this is V1 and V2 over here it getting reverse. Similarly and here also. So one parameter and the other parameter are reciprocal to it. Okay. So this was uh, what I want to teach you in this lecture. And the next lecture we will be continuing with impedance parameter. We will try to solve one problem or two problems using impedance problem, impedance parameter. And in this way we will be understanding the whole two port network in a better and easiest way. Hope you have understand the concept. Please like the video, share it with your friends uh, and thanks. Uh, to the person who have mentioned that sir please to uh, teach us or train us in the understanding of two port network do subscribe my channel and have a good day this is the basic of two port network that's it thank you friend